everyone it's agnes welcome to my channel i'm so happy to see you here are you ready to craft with me um this project is actually part of the collaboration with other youtubers and our theme was spring so you know what i'm doing i like to use things on a budget so why don't we start here are what i'm using actually here is the plastic spoons the plastic spoons you can get actually anywhere and mines are from the dollar store so I am going to simply remove the um, handles out of my spoon and do not laugh at my um, tool that I'm using. It's a garden tool, but I was trying to preserve my scissors. You can see that didn't take a long time so now it's time simply because i do want to camouflage my plastic spoons i would like to cover them a uh, little bit with um, a coat a couple coats of my um, chalk paint my handy dandy my favorite deco art um, chalk paint for your convenience i will add the link in my description box for you to see exactly what i am using So now the paint is done and as I am um, waiting for my uh, spoons to dry, I would like to really uh, work on my canvas. I do have a canvas that was slightly destroyed and I don't know what happened. So I decided to use that in my project and simply use it in um, its reverse uh, form. So that means is I am going to strip the canvas out of the frame and expose, you will be shocked, the beautiful actually frame wooden frame of that canvas. It is really not a difficult process. Um, there are so many methods to remove it, but I always choose to use my utility knife. So now my canvas is out of the frame and I am going to simply cut the remaining, you know, uh, pieces of the canvas to nicely later fit back. So now the canvas is done and it fits beautifully. So now it's time to check on our spoons and see if our heart. So it seems like our heart is actually dried. And now it's time for us to simply start the installation of our flower. So what we are going to do is just simply insert right at the edge um, spoons, one next to each other. We're living with little minimal space in between. You can already see the flower and now I would like to introduce the second row just to add additional interest and additional layer. So our flower seems to be almost done and now it's time to make a decision. Do I use the white side of the canvas or do I use the nat natural color canvas? What do you think? Uh, it is not easy decision. I think I am going to simply keep it all white and use the lighter one. Just because our flower does not hold any big of a weight, I decided to install my canvas back to my frame uh, using the hot glue. Thank you. 
if you follow me for some time, you know that I do like to add a lot of details, even though that um, flower looks beautiful already on its own in that frame. But guess what? I would like to add the leaf or two. So I am going to use the burlap and cut a little strip of it and make the leaf. That's going to be another tough part. Um, I don't think I want to add three. I think I am going to replace my third leaf with raffia. <laughs> if you follow me again for some time, you know I love raffia and I would like to incorporate in everything and anything. So I think I am going to be fine with two leaves and a little bit of raffia. decision is made and it's time to put all together here we go the hot glue goes on and the flower is going to get installed and we are done i could not be pleased with the final effect curious what you think about it here are more pictures If you enjoy my little project, please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for more notification because we are busy. Thanks for watching. Bye.